Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 6. my channel I hope you are enjoying my vlogmas series so far I am really enjoying doing it like I didn't realize how much hard work it would be to film and edit and upload every day but I am absolutely loving it so thank you to everyone who comments on my videos and gives me those thumbs ups because I really appreciate it I had a request on Instagram from my vintage daydreamer I think her name is um let me check her name's vintage daydreamer designs um, and she said she said, hi babes, I've just watched What the Health, totally want to go vegan. I'm on Slimming World 2 on my third week. So confused with what to eat. Do you have any top tips, tips on going vegan on Slimming World? And I thought that's a really, really good question. I thought I could do a whole video surrounding this because it's quite hard to answer that in a message. So I thought that's what this today's video would be. So the first half of the video is going to be my top tips on going vegan and how to stay vegan. And then my, the second part of the video is going to be my Slimming World vegan essentials. So the things I always have in my house. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Before I start, I just want to say I had um, some questions about my necklaces. Um, this one at the top is my own. Um, it's one of my new designs. It's three rose gold coins, but it's not actually up on the website yet, so I'll let you know when it is. And this one is a layered one. Um, I think it was from Primark. So tip number one is to maybe start quietly. Maybe if you're thinking about going vegan, don't spread it out and tell the whole world, tell social media and everything, because in a way, if you don't like it or you find you can't do it, you're sort of setting yourself up for failure. So keep it to yourself or you, just your close friends and family and just see how you go, because then and you're not putting yourself under as much pressure. If you just do it for yourself for a few weeks and then see how you feel, and then obviously if it's something you want to carry on with, which I hope you do, um, then you can sort of announce it once you feel more comfortable with it. Tip number two is Google is your best friend. If you are unsure about any, any food or drink, just Google it because that's what I do and most of the time I find the answer. Yeah, so definitely just Google. There's tons of vegan websites. There's Peta, Peta, I don't know how you pronounce it, .org and that's got like a load of list of foods. Also, I'm always in the supermarket when I see something cool, I'll read the back of the packet. So yeah, Google is your best friend. Just make sure you're Googling products all the time. You're keeping up to date with products. And when you're in the supermarkets, read the ingredients because sometimes you might think something's vegan but then it will have egg white in it or milk powder and things like that. So you just need to really be looking, looking at what's in your food. Tip number three is be kind to yourself and do not stress. If you accidentally eat something that isn't vegan, do not worry. Just don't eat it again. Everybody makes mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've eaten things that's had um, egg white in it and milk powder. And you know, you could really beat yourself up about it, but you are only human, so don't stress. If you mess up and eat something that isn't vegan, just forget about it and just don't do it again. Tip number four is to get yourself involved in a vegan community. So follow vegan people on Instagram, I do. Join a Facebook vegan group, I do, because there's tons of ideas on there. There's a Facebook group that I'm on a vegan Facebook group. And if someone's having a bad experience with being vegan or whatever, they'll vent in the group and then people can offer support. So definitely get yourself a support network. Tip number five is don't focus on protein. Don't worry about protein because chances are you will be getting enough of it. So as a vegans, we get our protein from uh, from vegetables, from beans, from lentils, from corn, um, tofu, things like that. So really don't focus on that. Just focus your energy on eating nutritious, plant-based foods and the rest will come with it. And lastly, you just really need to educate yourself. Things like supplements and stuff like that. Um, if you want me to do a vegan supplement video, please let me know because my dad is like amazing at this so I could get him in a video with me and he could answer some of our questions. And lastly, I just want to say you can definitely eat out. Restaurants nowadays really do cater for vegans out there. Pizza Hut have got vegan cheese. Um, Pizza Express have got vegan cheese. Nando's have got vegan options. Loads of places do do vegan options. And if you don't ask, you don't get. If you're going out for a family dinner, to a restaurant, just ring them a couple of days before, tell them you're vegan and they can definitely rustle something up for you. So don't stress about social situations like that. Now on to the second part of the video, which is my Slimming World Vegan Essentials. Right, these are the things that I have to have in my house and these are the things that I eat the most of. As a vegan, we mostly eat fruit and veg. So 
I always have plenty of fruit, and even for people that aren't vegan, like fruit is an essential on Slimming World. You can grab a couple of tangerines, whack them in your handbag, eat them on the go, like fruit is just everything. We love fruit. Vegetables, again, if you are food optimizing well, a third of every meal will be speed food. So, you know, veggies are essential. I always have a bag of soup mix, which I will then put in my soup maker and it make a big batch of soup. And that is great for lunch, lunch times and also as like, a and also as a snack, sometimes I have soup as a snack. You don't need to buy the soup mixes. I often, if there's loads of stuff in my fridge that's gonna go off in a few days, I'll just grab all the veggies, chuck them in the soup maker, and voila, I have delicious soup. Next thing I have to have in my house are potatoes. I love potatoes, I am a proper carb girl. Potatoes are great because they're really versatile. I have them in jacket potatoes. I also do Slim World chips and put them in my axe fry. I often make salt and pepper chips which are just divine so yeah potatoes are great really fill you up another essential are beans are all types of beans baked beans chickpeas kidney beans mixed salad beans everything they're so versatile you can do burritos with them you can do hummus with your chickpeas you can do bean curry beans are great again great source of protein for us so yeah stock up on your beans. Another great carb are all types of like grains. So rice, quinoa, couscous, bulgur wheat, all of those things are brilliant for us. You can make them into salads, you can have them with curries, you can have them with stew, and they're free on Slimming World. They're completely vegan, and you can just make so many nice dishes with them. Another thing I love for quick meals are the Linda McCartney vegan products. I, you've probably heard me talk about these, but I love her pulled pork burgers. They are one sin, and they taste gorgeous, and they're great just for a quick meal. Whack them in the oven for 20 minutes, have them with Slimming World chips and a salad, or put them in a wholemeal roll. Um, yeah, I also love her sausages, which are great. You can have them. You can you could make a stew with those. You could have bangers and mash. You could have sausage sandwiches. Another great thing to have is tofu. I've just made tofu scrambled eggs this morning, and they are really really nice. Um, and you can also get some vegan corn products, but just check because not all of vegan, not all corn is vegan. But they usually have the green vegan. Um, sign on the front of the packets. Another thing I love is nutritional yeast. I put that basically on top of anything. If I'm doing a pasta sauce, I will put nutritional yeast on it. Um, it's a source of B12, which is great for us. And it basically gives your food like that cheesy flavor. So yeah, maybe get, some, get yourself some of that. That's from Holland and Barra and it's pretty cheap. Sweet tooth wise, um, you can get vegan ice cream. I've showed the um, glaze vegan choc ices before, they're low in sins and they're vegan and delicious. The Oso bars, I absolutely love Oso bars, I mention them all the time. They are vegan, so you might wanna grab some of those. And um, popcorn, things like that, all of those are vegan, so you can still have your treats. Now, on to Healthy Extra B and Healthy Extra A. Healthy Extra B, I love having the Weight Watchers wraps. I like having um, my wholemeal rolls. And obviously, the Hi-Fi bars are not vegan. Please, Slimming World, bring out a vegan Hi-Fi bar. But my saviour are the Alpen Jaffa Cake Bars. They are vegan, they're the only flavour that are vegan. The Jaffa Cake Alpen Bars. So two of them is your healthy extra B. And then for my healthy extra A, I love all types of plant-based milk. Almond milk, oat milk, and coconut milk are my favourite. They do vary in how much you're allowed as your healthy extra A. Almond milk gives you the most dime for your buck. Um, but yeah, love all those. And lastly, Get yourself a good collection of spices because if you've got all those things that I've just mentioned plus a good box of spices, you can whip anything up and make really delicious vegan recipes. Have fun with it guys, experiment. As long as you don't beat yourself up about it, if you make a mistake, you will be fine. Um, and I think that's everything I have to say. They're the things I think you should have in your cupboard as a vegan and they're my tips on how to start being vegan. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have any more vegan Slimming World related questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up. Follow me on my Instagram at Indigo Olivia and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a vlog. I'm vlogging today, but it will be up tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow.